Carlo back. Next up is the clock tower, aka Big Ben, number 9369 with 870 pieces. Gray, straight up structure. I, uh, yeah, we'll see how much fun building this is going to be. Just like the Shanghai Tower, or Shanghai building. Lots of little, little bits and pieces. Four bags, nothing loose, so that's a good sign. Instructions. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Brain gonna be numb. We'll see. I'm sure the finished product will be good, too. Let's go. Holy smokes, did that ever take a while to build. Stupid clock tower. Man, if you want to take some time and like really, really have to concentrate on building a, uh, like a set, get this stupid freaking thing. It took me over three and a half hours just to build this. It's only 870 pieces. It didn't even take me that long to make the Shanghai Tower. Reason being, the instructions are really, really weird. See? Okay? It's, it's easy to follow. It's not bad to follow, but... They're, they use a lot of pieces in areas where you w makes you wonder why are you using that piece there when you could have used this piece over there. It just doesn't make any sense. And here, see, that's a light gray one by four, right? Well, this set doesn't come with one light gray one by four. It comes with dark gray one by four, so that confused me a bit. So, if you get this set, just understand the one by four here is the dark gray, this color here, not this color. So, that kind of messed me around. Ugh. Hey, anyway, like the Shanghai Tower, this structure, rectangular, square, it's just repetitive building, step by step by step. These, inter this uh, center pillar here, oh, that's, that was an annoying build too as well. Now, <clears throat> another annoying thing about this build, these little spires, okay. It's section wise, so you have this section, the clock section, and the roof section. And then when you're done everything, you put it all together. Well, these stupid little spires keep popping off when I'm trying to stick all of them together. So that, uh, that got annoying. Here's another thing. If you notice on the base plate there, okay, what is that? You got uh, five space, five nub space there, five space there, but then on this side, it's only four. Four. So it's not centered. It's off kilter. It looks weird. Eh, oh well. And also, at the end, when I finished building this thing, there were about 20, 20 to 30 leftover pieces. So that was a lot. So what I did was, to make the foundation a little sturdier, I just, it's, the clock tower is hollow from uh, bottom to up. It's all hollow in the middle. So I just filled the bottom with uh, all the extra pieces to make the foundation stick a little more to the base plate. As well as the roof here, it's, uh, it gets hollow up in here. So I filled it up with all the extra pieces so it'll stick uh, to the clock a little better. So, Oh, and I also made this uh, spire at the top a little higher with the extra pieces. Actually, there are no more spare pieces left, no more extra pieces, because I just put everything back into the clock tower to make it a little more sturdy. So, Anyway, there it is compared to the Shanghai Tower. It's pretty big. Good display. I'm going to put the mini tower piece there. But man, if you wanna, if you want frustration, if you want a time-consuming build, you get the clock tower. Yeah, I got one more left. It is ten o'clock. I got the Taipei Tower. Actually, I got two left. I got Eiffel Tower. I'm not cracking this open. I'll probably sell that to someone else. But uh, three hundred ninety. Okay, let's get to that stupid clock tower. Save the clock tower. No.